All right, now Samsung claims up to 13 days of battery life on the smart band, the Galaxy Fit 3, which sounds insane. But is this true? Can the Galaxy Fit 3 go up to 13 days or not? Let's find out in this video. Now, we all know that when a company says up to a particular day of battery life, we may not be getting that claimed battery performance. And in some cases, we also get to know under which conditions they have tested the battery performance. Now, if you look at Samsung India website, they have talked about the battery performance and they did mention that it's up to 13 days, but they did not mention under which conditions or what settings they have tested this battery performance. When I scroll all the way down, there are no pointers mentioned here which talks about the conditions. Now, if you look at the Samsung Newsroom Philippines, when I scroll all the way down, there are many conditions mentioned here for different features. And the third point talks about the battery performance. It says, battery life is based on results from internal lab tests conducted by Samsung for typical usage pattern scenarios. With Galaxy Fit 3 connected to Galaxy smartphone via Bluetooth, including 52 notifications, 4 minutes of text checks, 9 minutes of time checks and 30 minutes of workouts over the course of 24 hours. It further says it is a stimulated value of the total battery consumption measured by analyzing normal usage patterns and the current required for each function with the duration of time of each function. And they have also mentioned that this is tested with results from a pre-release version of the device. Actual battery life may vary depending on Bluetooth connection status, configuration, settings, signal strength, presence of noise, usage and conditions of the device and many other factors. Now, this is good to see Samsung mentioning this. However, this is not mentioned on all the countries' website, if I'm not wrong. Now, I was able to find these conditions on Samsung Newsroom Philippines. I want you guys to check out the Samsung Newsroom uh, page in your country, particularly for the Fit 3, and see if these conditions are mentioned or not. Now, having said all this, let's go ahead and check out the battery performance results. I have tested this band in two different scenarios or two different settings. In the first settings, I had turned off the always-on display. Auto brightness was on. Adaptive brightness was on, raise wrist to wake, touch screen to wake, show media controls were turned on. And I had set the screen timeout to 10 seconds. And when it comes to health features, the heart rate was set to manual only, stress was set to manual and blood oxygen during sleep was enabled. And even the snow detection was enabled during this test. And I was wearing the watch throughout the day 24 bar 7. The battery consumption during the night will be higher because the watch's sensors will be continuously on recording the blood oxygen levels. I was also tracking the exercises for about 30 minutes every day and obviously the steps was recorded continuously. With these settings, I have got a battery life of 4 full days on this fitness pack. I know you will be disappointed hearing this but this is the reality. If you are going to use all these features continuously wearing the watch 24 bar 7, you might get a battery life of about 4 to 5 days max on this watch. And I would say it is still fine because this has got a larger display. It's a beautiful looking crisp and clear AMOLED display we have here. So it definitely consumes some battery and all those health centric features will definitely consume some battery. So that's on the first settings. Now let's move on to the second settings. In the second test, I had turned on all those settings which were turned on in the previous scenario. However, I was not wearing the watch 24 bar 7. I was wearing the watch from morning uh, somewhere around 9 a.m. and till about 9 p.m. in the evening and I wasn't wearing it during the night so there was no sleep tracking or snow detection and the watch was used for about 12 hours a day. In this scenario, I have got about 7 days of battery life which is not bad I would say but a claim of 13 days is something which Samsung shouldn't have mentioned because there's a huge gap when they say 13 days in the lab test and in reality we just get about a 6 to 8 days maximum of battery performance which is not something which we would prefer. Anyways, this is what we are getting on this fitness band. I would say it is still good getting 6 to 8 days of battery life without wearing it in the night and getting 4 full days of uh, battery life. Tracking the activities, sleep tracking, snow detection is decent I would say. But I'm sure there are many other brands in the market which will offer slightly better battery life. But if you're looking for a tier 1 brand, especially if you're a Samsung Galaxy phone user, then this is the watch to go. Now what I request you guys to do is, if you want a Galaxy Fit 3, do share the battery performance results on your watch, drop a comment that will definitely benefit the community and while you do that, do mention the country you are commenting from. That's all I want to share with you guys. I have made a couple of more videos about this watch in the past so I will leave a link for those in the description. I have answered many questions asked by you guys so do go ahead and check out those videos and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye